Wife or the daughter? She's the wife. Okay, breakfast is ready. Put my contacts back in. Who needs it? Not me. Oh, baby, that's the voice. Looks a bit like an English breakfast. It does, yeah. It's the beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, burr! Yum. Is it summer or is it summer? Mm. been back at like honest to goodness bus life for I don't know maybe like three weeks now which is not very long but I feel like I've settled into a routine already this has been a lot less of a a lot less of an adjustment than it was last year which is of course it is the bus is actually done-ish this time I've done it before you would expect it to be a lot easier this time but yeah, still, by three weeks in last year, I'd gotten myself into multiple dilemmas. I'd already broken down and had to spend the night at a truck stop full of unsavory characters. I already had to go to a mechanic. Already gotten myself in trouble with trying to park the bus to the extent that multiple people had to help me get out of that one. And I already had the whole mouse incident too. Anyway, this year has been really boring in comparison in the best possible way. On the other hand, I think that by three weeks in last year, I had done a lot more sort of adventure stuff. The last three weeks, I would say the majority of my time has been spent, well, mostly editing. I don't know what happened, but I had a couple of videos really get on top of me and I was spending just like all day, every day editing. And then other than that, I've been spending a lot of time finishing up projects on the bus that I didn't get around to before I left and just doing the general stuff that you have to do to maintain maintain this home, I guess. Don't get me wrong, that is not a complaint because I get really bored and unsettled, I guess, if I have too much downtime. But I guess my point is that I've been in this beautiful mountain setting for a few weeks, but I haven't seen that much of it and my life has not been significantly different than it would be parked at a relative's house. Hopefully that today that's going to change. I guess most of that was just to say that this is going to be sort of a day in the life video, but I would not call this a typical day in the life. Assuming that all goes according to plan today, this will be more of like an ideal day in the life. I'm going to interrupt this video for a second to talk about today's sponsor, which has been a huge, huge part of this season two of Bus Life. Nebula makes projectors and they sent me this Mars 3 so that I can explore the possibilities that this little guy opens up for Bus Life. Last summer when I was living in the bus, my friends all came up to Jackson and we thought that it would be really fun to get a projector and go outside to watch the finale of Stranger Things. And we made it happen, but it took a crazy amount of work. I had at the time one of those little portable power stations, which I had fully charged in preparation. We had cords strung everywhere. Partway through the show, the power station died. So I just plugged the projector straight into my house batteries 
we pretty much killed those two. Had I had the Mars 3 last year, this would have been a completely different experience. This little baby has a built-in 185 watt hour battery and a battery display that you can see without even turning it on, which is not something you can find in a lot of other products. There's no need to have it plugged into anything because just with the battery, you get five hours of watch time. And I can confirm these numbers because it has been incredibly rainy here. So we've already had multiple evenings that we watched more than one full length movie back to back and still had battery left over. You can even charge your other electronics from this projector. This projector is built for the outdoors. It's water resistant, drop proof, dust proof. It has speakers and a lens cover built in so you don't have to keep track of carrying cases and accessories and whatever else. Funny story, the very first time I was using this I was thinking this is perfect except that it needs some sort of something to prop it up so that I don't have to put it on a stack of books or whatever. It does have that. It's just so sleekly built in that I didn't even realize it was here. The screen can be anywhere between 30 and 150 inches and it uses AI image adjust technology to do auto screen fit, auto focus, auto brightness. It works with Chromecast or you can just like sign into your streaming accounts on the thing itself. I pulled this out of the box and was using it right away with no trouble, no confusion. I love this thing. It has been a staple of the summer so far. I can't recommend it enough to be an explorer of the Mars 3 yourself and to find out all that this tiny powerful device has to offer. Head to the link in my description. Thank you to Nebula for sponsoring. I have a few things on the agenda today. Some of them more exciting than others, but I think I'm gonna start with the least exciting of them. I'm going to have these AirPods in probably this entire video because yesterday I became obsessed with the new Jonas Brothers album. Honestly, I would not have expected to be newly obsessed at age 30 with the exact same band I was newly obsessed with at age 15. But I'm not mad about it. Oh no, I need some tape. So since my last video, I have finished, I wanna say all of the projects that were really detracting from quality of life in here. For example, well, I replaced my stained floorboards. As I was replacing those floorboards, I ended up having to like take this whole front half of the bus apart. Like the couch was totally unassembled. These trims were all taken apart. One thing led to another. I ended up taking out the slidey thing from here. So this doesn't pull out anymore. Oops, <laughs> it's not supposed to anyway. And so I added some new supports to this couch. So this couch is a lot more structurally sound and it's a lot easier to access the storage now because all you have to do is open this thing right here and I can put a lot more stuff in there. So that is great. I don't think I'll have any regrets about getting rid of the slide out platform. This one still exists. And I also finished the little boxes to conceal the wires up by the driver's seat, which is nice both because those are those were unsightly and now they're covered up nicely, but more so because I already had the pieces that I used for that like put together and ready to go. Hello. And they were just in here taking up space, falling over when I was driving, getting in our way. So it is really nice to have that done. So anyway, most of what I have left to do in terms of projects in here is nothing's really that pressing anymore. It's not like getting in the way of me living my life to not have them done. What I have left, including what I'm doing right now, is mostly just the little things that are, you know, I can just do them whenever I feel like doing them. And they all are just very unimportant in terms of the function of my house but important in terms of getting me closer and closer to sort of realizing the vision that I had in my head for this bus at the start. I just feel like that is a really good position to be in starting this summer out. It's crazy how fast everything sort of wrapped up. I spent two plus years grinding at this and wondering if it was ever gonna be anything close to what I had in my head. And then all of a sudden within a matter of weeks, it's like it's done. Like there's obviously still stuff to be done in here, but I do feel like I'm at the point where I can call this done. And it is so crazy how fast that happened.
seems like a lot of people get into bus life specifically so that they can spend more time in nature. And while that wasn't really like a conscious goal of mine when I started this project, I guess I kind of just thought it would happen naturally once I was living at campgrounds. But I will admit that that has not really been the case for me. I mean, I spend so much time editing and doing bus projects and, you know, just the stuff of normal life while I happen to be living in a campground in a school bus. But then even once I'm not doing that stuff anymore, once I have free time, the bus is just so comfortable that it's easy to forget that I'm technically camping and not just hanging out in my house and that I'm smack in the middle of some really awesome place. And more often than I want to admit, I find myself just doing whatever I would be doing at a house in a city, like looking at my phone or watching a show or whatever, you know? I have to sometimes make a real effort to remind myself to actually enjoy whatever place I'm in. But once I do, it's always worth it. already running into my first issue with my so-called perfect day of bus life. My sink has been having some issues draining, like since I left, and right now it is not draining at all. So I'm probably gonna have to get down there, take some stuff apart, try to get this to drain. I don't even know what you do about a clogged kitchen sink. I never had that in a house. Like, do you just drain it? Anyway, I don't want to use my sink too much, which means I need to have something pretty low mess for lunch. So it's probably gonna be potato chips and Walmart chicken nuggets. You know, super easy and also super healthy. Because okay. I only took a nap. <sighs> it's time to sort this situation out again. It's gonna be really gross. Ugh. Okay, there's something so weird going on with this drain that I don't understand. It's like there's a blockage lower down, and sometimes I just have to like wiggle the pipe around and it's like it burps and then it's fine. Somebody help me! Whatever, at least the sink isn't filled with water anymore, so time to get back to my fun agenda. I have to confess, the first part of this video was now many days ago. I meant to film one whole video in one day, but you know what? Other stuff came up that other day. But it's like the same time right now that I stopped filming the other day. So I figured the first two thirds of one day and the last one third of a different day still makes one day, right? <laughs> By the way, my sink, it was not a big issue at all. It turns out I just did not have an air vent on my gray tank. So I just had to make one and now the sink drains again. In other news, 
I love this campsite and I love this bus so much. I feel like this is day and night difference from last year where I was in some super cool places, but the bus was such a piece of and now I just have to pinch myself every few minutes because this is honestly one of the dreamiest houses I have ever lived in. And I built it and I can drive it wherever I want. <laughs> oh, it's looking really stormy. Anyway, today has been perfectly blissful and I'm honestly just really proud of myself for doing this. And I feel weird saying that, but it's true. So I think, hopefully, if it's not too terribly rainy or too terribly cold, I'm at like 9,500 feet elevation right now, I think. And it's been highs in the 50s, lows in the 30s ever since I got here, rains every single day. But hopefully maybe the weather will cooperate tonight and we're going to do a little outdoor movie. Have to bundle up really good, but yeah, it should be fun. And I am loving this. And that is all. <laughs> It started filming. <laughs> it is indeed too rainy for an outdoor movie. Um, but I did promise you guys Carolyn in every video, so <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah, you were there, remember? Mm. So anyway, we're probably gonna spend the rest of the night slash the rest of our lives in this rainy hellhole. <laughs> Just chilling and drinking tea. <laughs> Just kidding, we love it here. Okay, see you next time. <laughs> I just hope we could stay together We wait and see But the chances are small just like the large